Hi, my name is Phoebe and I'm a senior at the Miami Valley School. Miami Valley's mission is to challenge young people of promise to become self-sustaining learners and compassionate global citizens. At Miami Valley, we offer a course called TED, Technology, Entertainment, Design, which is based off TED Talks, Ideas Worth Spreading. Why do we have this class? Well, the spreading of ideas has revolutionized. It used to be that the information people had were through books, local coffee shops full of gossip, and the occasional print items. But once the radio and televisions were invented, information became more frequently available. Soon the internet was invented and ideas came like rapid fire. Social media websites allowed people not only to share ideas, but to have an opinion on them. YouTube videos have millions of views and are all subject for debate. TED videos are up in the millions also. But what does this have to do with TED class at the Miami Valley School? Well, in order to become compassionate global citizens, Miami Valley challenges us in a liberal arts education. They promote learning and becoming involved and interested in all courses of study. Traditionally, school courses include math, science, English, and history, and foreign language and art. But what most schools have forgotten are the romantics the ancient religions and philosophies. However, who and what is teaching us how to live now? Our education on basic life experiences and in interaction and even in love are coming strictly from experience and observation. The divorce rate is at a robust 50% in America. Every day, a new celebrity I have never even heard of is getting divorced. And who is teaching us about healthy relationships? In this day and age, is a liberal arts education really all that we need? I believe yes, we do. It's very important. However, we also need education on the interaction on a human level, non-traditional pursuits. We need a differentiator. And that is why Miami Valley is so unique. It allows us to have these things. TED, videos that everyone watches, People casually think and discuss about Logan LaPlante's idea of hack schooling. But how many people have an organized class around those unique and extremely revolutionary videos? And how many people are instructed to form coherent responses to them? Not only are we gaining a fantastic education and learning from professionals in their field, but we're also learning from TED professionals. In this class so far, I have learned from Devdud Patanag that belief systems are the root of clashing civilizations, and therefore, not everyone is going to agree with me. I have learned from Brene Brown that being vulnerable might actually mean that I'm happy. I have learned from Steve Jobs the importance of following your bliss. I have learned from Patrick Arua that the world needs more enlightened thinkers. I have learned from Chris Lehman that the school system is on the brink of a massive breakthrough. And to tell you the truth, I believe Miami Valley is one of the spearheads of this massive breakthrough. To find these important ideas, there are seven conversational questions that, are, that we have been taught to help decipher exactly what the TED Talker is saying. And they are, in a nutshell, what does the author wish to argue? What is the author's key concept? What important question is the author addressing? What story is the author telling? What do you think or feel the author might have experienced professionally or personally that might have led him or her to argue what he is he or she is arguing the way he or she is arguing it? And how does the author use language? And what method does the author use to convey his truth? Through these questions, I have gained the confidence to express these ideas from TED videos in my own life, which has helped me to accept myself. Schools should teach us how to learn, and that is what both this class and Miami Valley has taught me what to do. The internet is a fabulous tool, and TED are ideas worth spreading and listening to. I believe that we should use it to our advantage to learn from the people who are professionals in their field, from the ones who have done their research, the ones who have experienced something important. This will help us become compassionate, global citizens. I believe that all of this extensive research point to one thing, and that is we're all different. We all have different likes, dislikes, habits, opinions, interests, 
physical features, and we all live differently, love differently, and learn differently. And you know what? As cliche as it is, I believe that's what makes the world beautiful. I think people need to take time to remember the, the importance of diversity and empathy. And something standard isn't what's right for everyone. So I leave you with a quote by Golda Meir, the former Prime Minister of Israel. And it is, trust yourself. Create the kind of self that you'll be happy to live with all your life. Make the most of yourself by fanning the tiny inner sparks of possibility into flames of achievement. Thank you.